The CNM Seeds Weed School is brought to you by Bear Crop Science. So when you consider where we are with this year's winter wheat crop, what are some of the nitrogen or fertilization considerations that farmers need to be thinking about going into the springtime? Yeah, excellent question and, and really does depend on the year and on planting date. So we've learned over time that the later you plant, the more critical it is to give that, that crop a shot of nitrogen early in the year. Uh, in fact, on the frost in March to try and number one, help it retain any tillers that it might have. But in a year like this, most of the wheat crop uh, doesn't have any tillers. So we really need to give it that little boost of nitrogen as soon as we can to promote some, some tillers to form in the spring. Because without enough tillers, we just aren't going to have enough heads, that's for sure, to get the yields that we want. So that early shot of nitrogen becomes really critical in that time frame uh, to, to boost the tillering capability of the plants and get us to the point where we want to be. On the other hand, for the growers that did have canola or edible beans and planted wheat on September the 15th and had wheat that was six inches tall and, and had already five, six, eight tillers, they don't need to worry about that at all. In fact, they already have more tillers than they need. The plant's going to dump a bunch of tillers, so why would you try to save them? Just leave that nitrogen application till later. So very much uh, fertilization strategy is not a, here's what dad did, or here's what grandpa did, or here's what I did five years ago. It's really much uh, looking at the environment and the conditions that you're facing that specific year. If you're doing what dad or grandpa did, you won't be farming five years from now. That's the reality. We have learned so much about nitrogen management, and in fact, it looks like we're even going to push that, that boundary further. We're going to stretch that envelope with some new research that we're doing right now around nitrogen rates, some really cool stuff coming out on, on timing as well. So absolutely, you need to be thinking about where the wheat crop is this year versus last year versus a, another year that you farmed and, and manage your nitrogen based on the wheat crop today. So do you recommend that uh, farmers do uh, when, when, when the snow melts, they go out there and get some more soil samples done at that time? Or what do you recommend in terms of trying to get as much information as you can? Yeah, so, so really in Ontario, we don't use a nitrogen soil test on wheat because we get so much water over the winter. It's not like Western Canada where you can, you can go out there and sample for that nitrogen in the fall or in the spring. We get so much water over the winter that it basically leaches any available nitrate out of the soil. What you need to do as soon as the snow goes in the spring is get out there and see the status of the crop. See how many plants per foot of a row you have. See how big they are. Uh, it's amazing. Wheat planted the 10th of November that, that you didn't see last fall will emerge under the snow. And you can go out there as the snow goes and actually look at your stand and, and see where you're at from that perspective. So it really does uh, behoove the grower to get out there and see where he's at and say, okay, so I'm here this year, I need to do this versus last year that was totally different.